Good day guys and welcome to today's basic tech and today on basic tech we are giving you processing materials part two and my name is Egotola Olubode and last time on our topic uh, processing of materials we talked about uh, materials processing which we said that is the series of steps that convert a starting material that's the raw material into a useful form that's the finished product which controlled with a controlled structural features and properties then number two we said qualities of good timber it must smell sweet silky bright bluster bluster the color must be uniform and free from knocks and shakes and other defects then we said again that we talked about timber conversion that is plain and and quarter so then finally we mentioned processing of timber from the growing of the tree to the production of the timbers into planks then today we are talking about metals, the processing of metals. So what is metal? Metal can be defined as the process from process from natural resource can be defined as a process which is processed from the natural resources that is the natural mineral from found beneath the surface of the earth that is under the earth surface they contain a lot of impurities which is removed through a process called smithing now for the, then the process of metal most metals do not occur in pure state they are actually combined with other metals and earthly early impurities to form what is called mineral ore when the ore is mined the required metal is extracted from it some of the impurities removed from the ore are magnesium phosphorus silicon and so on Stages of production, that is the stages in the processing of met metal. We have one, the extraction. This is the part where the rocks containing the metals is dug from the soil with drilling and evacuating equipment. The rocks and the metal mixed together is called metal ore and that is the impure metal. Then the stage two is the smelting stage. Here, yeah, the metal ore is heated in a furnace until the metal is melt until the metal melts into liquid form. This process is called smelting. It is then separated from other impurities that are mixed with it. Then the third stage is the casting stage. That is where the hot molten that the liquid metal is is poured into the containers of different lengths and sizes that is called the mold it is left there to cool and solidify to take up the shape of the mold this is called casting its round bar and square bar and wires and other are produced yeah we can see the diagram of the blast furnace where the where we can see the combustion area you can see the softening and melting area. You can see all what we need, all the elements we need to for a good furnace to be prepared. So next, we are going to the carbon properties of steel. Steel is a, is a very strong metal that is made up of mixture of iron and carbon. The raw and impure carbon the raw and impure iron is called pig iron from the pig iron other forms of steel iron 
are produced. One, cast iron. This is produced by refining pig iron in a furnace called Kupolo, Kupala. It contains 2% to 5% of carbon. Then it is put into mold to form either white cast in form of iron carbide or gray cast in form of gravite. Cast iron is brittle and easily breaks. Then we have rock iron. This is produced by removing the impurities that comes with the pig iron. It melts in the furnace. It is stirred with a puddling pool so that the carbon content escapes as the carbon two oxide gases. The wrought iron has fibroid nature. It is able to withstand sudden shock. It can resist corrosion. It is used to make making couplings, chains, gates, and rails, and so on. Two, two steel, the strength of the depth the strength of the steel depends on the quantity of car carbon in content. When the carbon content is increased beyond 0.8%, it means it can be added by eating. Such steel are called two steel or cast steel. They are produced by high conductance furnace. Then the last one is mild steel. This is classified by its carbon content. Some are low carbon content of 0.05% to 0.15% carbon. Medium carbon still consists of 0.2% to 0.5%. They are produced from pig iron in an open furnace. They could be black or white. Metal alloys. What what is metal alloy? This is an metal that is obtained from the mixture of two or more metals together. One brass is a combination of copper and zinc. It can be easily worked on and tools if the carbon if the copper content up to 65 percent brass can be ductile and can be bent when cold it resists corrosion it therefore used for tabs valves pipes screws and so on then we have the duralumin duralumin it's an alloy of aluminium it contains 4.5 percent copper and 0 0.5 or less magnesium and 94.5 percent aluminium it becomes added with age it is used to aircrafts and sheets then we have the grinding metals it is an alloy of copper and zinc yeah copper takes 90 percent and zinc takes 10 percent it is used to make jugs, ashtrays, bowls, and jewelry. Then the last one here is bronze. This is an alloy of copper, where copper takes 80% and tin takes 20%. So finally, uh, students, we I would love to give you some assignments. One, what is metals? Then two. What are the stages in the production of metals? Then three, name the carbon properties of steel. Then four, what is an alloy? Then five, name the metals alloy available. You can send all your inquiries and answers to Jimon Smith at Edufest NG. Thank you.